What's going on, guys? Sean here. I just got to talk about it. I called this shit weeks ago. Draft Devontae Smith. I will share this video until you guys are absolutely sick of my face. I love it. Howie Roseman did not disappoint. I was terrified that we were going to take a fucking QB. A QB or Quiddy Pay. That was all I could think about all night. Oh, my heart was in my throat leading up to the pick. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't think. My kid's smacking at me. It just people are yelling and, oh, what are we going to do? And No, no, my heart was in my throat. I, I just can't believe it. You know, and then uh, I don't know if you guys follow Breaking the Birds. If you don't, check him out. He breaks down Eagles players. Awesome breakdowns. Um, really gets in depth, positive, negative, dropped a breakdown on Devontae Smith this morning. So I'm watching that, watching him go up against JC Horn and top prospects. They first round pick last year, top prospects for next year. I mean, it didn't matter. He's in press coverage, just about every play. Everyone's like, Oh, what's he going to do against press? I understand college is different from the NFL, but this man was in press coverage so much and destroyed it, destroyed it. He's getting hit by two, three guys at a time. You know, I'm hearing he's going to get broken half in the NFL. No. No, guy's different, man. Guy is different. Look at what D-Jax did for years. He was 5'10", 170 when he came out. This dude's six foot, 170, you know, 166, whatever. He's going to get bigger. He's going to get stronger. He's already super fast. He might be faster than Henry Ruggs. Hate me if you want. Just saying. Until they race side by side, who knows? Someone knows, but I don't. You know, it, the guy's unbelievable. I can't even get my thoughts straight. I've been trying to make a video since last night. I just can't. You know, I, I'm just, I'm shocked. I mean, if we went defense every pick from here on out the rest of the draft, I would not care. Would not care. I think our line is sturdy. I think Miles Sanders is going to get fed this year. Boston Scott is going to be more of a change of pace. I think Jason Humley is going to get a bigger role. I really hope Elijah Holyfield's in there. I think receiver wise, we now have two first round picks. Hopefully both of those guys can get their you know get their due this year. Um I'm not liking the looks for Greg Ward. Uh Sirianni's press conference. He pretty much came out and said that if you can't play inside out, I don't want you on my team. Um, you know, I wonder what that says about Artega Whiteside too. Uh Ward bothers me. Um, you know, it, guys <sighs> I'm just thinking high tower. Watkins, Rager, Smith. That is so much speed. It, oh, man, it's fantastic. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here. Don't want this video to drag. Let me know who you think we're going to pick in round two. We ain't got to wait very long for it. Hoping for Asante Samuel Jr. myself. Hoping for JOK. Honestly, at this point, as long as we're taking the top guys available on the board, I don't care. Take a center. I'm happy. Um, once again, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff, guys. Love y'all. Peace.